How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. Welcome back to Learning SRPG Studio. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to resize the map, how to resize the resolution of the game, and change various map settings. In episode one, we created a basic map, changed our starting point, and created one basic enemy. Let's resize the resolution of the game. The first thing you'll do is from the root menu, is you click on database. If you don't see database, you may see back to top. Click on database, go over to config two, and in the bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see a section called resolution. There are four resolutions to choose from and I'm sure you can change it to other resolutions if you want to install a plugin or make some JS alterations to the code. I'm going to set it to 1280 by 720 standard HD widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Change our resolution and we hit OK. Now when we test play our game it will open up in a bigger window but we'll still have a small box so let's edit our map to accommodate for the extra space that we've gained. We'll click on our map and click on open map or double click it. Next click on map and information. From here you can assign an icon to your map. You can change the name of the map. You can change the map type. This is to decide if it is a normal map that you progress through the storyline, if it's a side quest or a regular quest, and you can give a description as well. The width and the height let you change how wide and how tall the map is. So let's increase the width by doubling it. We'll say 40 tiles and we'll double the height as well. We'll give that 30 tiles. The chapter number is going to let the game know what order to display the maps. So all of your maps don't have to be in order on your left hand side drop down bar. The chapter number is data that's stored inside of the map. You can create map three first if you wanted to. Display battle preparation box is the box that pops up before the battle starts. If you want this map to immediately start into the battle, you uncheck it. If you create a map and it's larger than the screen's resolution, the map will scroll from the left to the right, go down to the bottom, go left and go back up to the top to show off the map. If you want to disable that, you uncheck map scroll. A fixed background will make it so that no matter what tile you are on the map, the battle background will be this, which we're not going to use, but you can make it so that even if you're fighting on the beach, it'll look like this, or you're fighting in the forest, it'll look like this. Otherwise the map will update according to what tile it's on. The maximum number of units on the map are displayed right here and you can specify if you want to allow for more or less on the map. Let's set our max to three and we'll probably create some more guys. Fixed units are going to make it so that these units have to be on as far as I can tell. Map color is going to put a filter over the map so that it changes color depending on the filter. Test members is just like fixed units but only when you play test it. Changing the test difficulty on a map will change the map test difficulty, not when you do a game test. Sortie restrictions, you can make your own custom restrictions on the map as well. You can define your own victory conditions, win the game, and defeat conditions, die of death. This is just text that the player can see, not actual code. But you can set custom parameters in code if you want. You can shift the map in different directions. We'll get into this at a later time and go into more detail. Please leave comments below if you have specific questions. So now we've changed the map by increasing the size of it. I'm going to further enhance it by reducing some height so it can fit on the screen. I think that looks better. Now that we've increased the size, I'm going to go ahead and draw some upgrades to the map. I'm going to shift the map to the right with a value of 10. I'm going to move everything. Now everything on the map has been moved to the right. I'm going to do the same thing and shift the map down, shift it to the bottom using 5 tiles. Now I've centered a smaller map onto a bigger map so that I can continue drawing it. If you uncheck display battle prep, you'll have to put in some sort of conditions that stops the player from losing the game, because I'll show you right now, if you test the game without that checked, you will immediately lose because the player is not on the map. So we'll go back to map information and check display battle prep. And then we play the game, you can see that it's now 16 by 9, 1280 by 720, full HD. And we have our two units, I added a second unit in there, we'll fight.
And there we have it. We still don't have any victory conditions. We'll talk about victory conditions in the next episode. And that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you would like to show your support for what I do here, you can back me on my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash driftwoodgaming. If you want to come hang out with us, we have a Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to stay awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.